Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liza Quinn. I'm excited to have you here today. We are checking out Diana Ankudinova. I believe I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, I'm sure you guys will help me out in the comments below. This channel's focus is not just about the reaction, it's about giving you some valuable content so that singers and music lovers alike can learn something from some of their favorite artists. So many of you recommended this artist to me that I cannot wait to listen to her. Just a quick reminder that if you find value in this content, it's always very helpful if you check out the links in the description. If you engage with any one of those, it always helps me to bring more content like this to you. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Pretty. on here is that a flange effect if that's really her voice that is a fascinating tone and the fact that they chose to do this song in a minor key i believe the original is in d major so i'm guessing they're doing this maybe like in an f minor but that is a spectacular choice that makes it seem so haunting and so stunning <laughs> So obviously, aside from the obvious that her tone is just insane, I doubt it's in effect because A, you guys wouldn't have recommended it otherwise, and B, this looks like a singing competition show, so clearly that wouldn't be the case. I actually was a vocal coach on the Spanish version of The Voice, and I know that that's not something that would fly, right? <laughs> so obviously this is her natural tone, and that is really fascinating. So we have down here... You would consider that sort of like a contralto starting point, which would be the F3. And what's fascinating is that the it's very straight. So I don't know if she's going to start introducing some oscillation, some vibrato later, but I love the fact that the tone is sort of straight like that. To have that pitch be consistent, to have the air be consistent, the tone be consistent requires just a lot of control. But I judge's face. Before she keeps going here, because I'm sure it's going to get even more intense, I can feel the music building, the arrangement building. So typically, in a contralto voice, they make it up to about this F5 here. The voice might top off for a female with such a lower voice and, and that richness on the bottom. Past that here. So that's a little bit past typically where the voice might top off for a, a female with such a deep voice like this. So it's not, she's not overshaping and it still has a nice bassiness on the bottom, which just makes it feel very round and gorgeous, but 
you don't see her sort of uh, over relaxing here. It's very bright and positioned. And I just, I think that's fascinating how she tackles that. Okay, I want to hear what the judges have to say about that. I'm really fascinated by that. But, wow, what's so spectacular is just how unique this... I can't say I've ever really particularly heard... I've heard voices that are similar or that come close, but I can't say I've heard a tone exactly like hers. It is so cool when you find a voice that almost sounds like it has an effect on it. It's almost robotic, which is so mesmerizing. There's a point here where she does just incorporate vibrato, and it's so controlled, so beautiful, and it's just tastefully sort of added on to the end of that phrase. Let's see what the judges have to say. Put on some captions. Oh, there's no captions. Okay, so there's no no judge commentary there. I wouldn't have understood it anyway. I would have needed you guys to translate for me. But bravo indeed. Thank you so much for recommending her to me. This is just... I'm gonna wanna watch this again and again now. <laughs> Thank you all so much for sticking around with me. Keep those recommendations coming. Watch more videos here if you'd like to support. And I appreciate you all so much. I'll see you next time. <laughs>